Hello everyone, this is your Prime Audio series presented by Prebendia. The Prime editorials covers from different leading newspaper. Topic is crossing the line on Delhi's decision to limit health services. And the cross says Delhi should not hide failures by limiting health care access to just its residents. Now going to move in detail. The decision announced by Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal to restrict COVID-19 treatment in Delhi's private hospitals and those run by the government of NCT only to those with proof of residence in the city as will thought out. As Lieutenant Governor Anil Bijaj noted in his order overlaying the decisions, right to health is an integral part of right to life under Article 21 of the Constitution. While Health care is far from being universal in India. Positively denying that to someone on the grounds of residency is insensitive and irresponsible. The Lieutenant Governor has now directed that treatment should not be denied to anyone. Mr. Kejriwal depicted a scenario people of the whole country overwhelming hospitals in the city as justification for his navetism. After the LG interventions, the chief minister and his deputy Manish Sisodia reiterated the argument and perpetually sought to wash their hands of the worsening situation. They expect 5.5 lakh COVID-19 cases by July for which 80,000 beds could be needed. The 10-week lockdown was meant to ramp up wealth, uh, ramp up health infrastructure and if the AAP government has not done that, it has only itself to blame. In fact, it must come clean on what it has done. Restrictions of movement is a crucial tool in pandemic management, but it has to be justifiable. The NCT is functionally contagious with Gurugram in Haryana and Noida in Uttar Pradesh. Thousands cross these borders for work and other needs, including health care. People contribute to tax revenue in three different jurisdictions. This makes Mr. Kejival rhetoric unreasonable. As much as Karnataka's decision to prevent this residence of Kasargore in Kerala from accessing hospitals in Mangalore earlier. The AAP government approach is contentious for more reasons, however, as it is using it also as a diversionary tactic. While the city is recording an exponential growth in infections, the government is trying to deflect attention from its inadequacies by hiding the number of it has reduced testing dramatically on June 2, it was 6,070 on June 7. 542 and on June 8,700, 8, 8, the AAP government accused private labs of flouting ICMR guidelines and discouraged testing of asymptomatic peoples. The high positivity rate, the proportion of positives to total test indicates that the NCT is not testing enough. The ICMRs may attain strategies directed testing of testing of direct and high-risk context of confirmed coronavirus individuals even if asymptomatic. The government revived this by removing asymptomatic from the clause which was also overturned by the LG who ordered that guidelines must be added to in their entirety. In entirety Delhi is testing more than the national average for per million populations but that does not say much given that it has a population density 30 times the national figure Delhi needs to get its act together. Thank you. With the tag in this edition, we will keep updating you. Press the subscribe button and bell icon notifications for the latest news update. Thank you for watching. Namaskar.